Greetings, beloved. Welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami, and tonight I thought it's 2.22 a.m. What an interesting hour. And um, I happened to be looking at the news and found this picture, which I found again on my phone. I found it on the tablet I'm recording on and found it from a different source just now. It's an image, my phone is cracked and terrible, but I think you'll recognize it perhaps if you've been following the protests happening in Minneapolis. This was posted three hours ago by the source I saw, and it really arrested my attention. This idea of showing power, of, sh of defying these people who wish to subjugate us. Doesn't this image make you feel power? The thought of, you know, in the face of people who think property should be treated with more respect than a person's life, it really just gives a sense of invigoration and almost reclamation. And I felt it again, this strange need to quilt. Quilting is one of those amazing things in black culture that I think a lot of people underestimate, have kind of forgotten about, released, dismissed as something for older folks. But it's something that's really arrested my attention, especially I think the first time it really, it really arrested my soul was when I learned that Miss Harriet goddamn Tubman, y'all, Mother Moses, quilted. And it's not the type of person you would think would quilt. Somebody who used weapons, somebody who took on a man's name, somebody who baptized people, uh, spirit, gave people spiritual baths when women weren't really even taken seriously as spiritual leaders, she was respected as a spiritual leader. It makes you really uh, invigorated to learn of Mama Moses. And so to hear, yes, this person who also knew about the plants, the ancestors, spirit, listening to her intuition, also quilted. And in fact, her quilt was what she sold, traded for the information initially on using the North Star and how to get north. Somebody found that that valuable for that information and she knew this skill and she used it and she had poured her heart and soul. Oh, if only I could see <sighs> these eyes burn to see the quilt. That was Harriet's quilt. If only I could, honey. That was the first time it sparked my imagination. The idea of continuing this tradition of quilting just to continue the tradition of quilting in black culture, especially as it pertained to West Africa, the kente fabric, how it's made in such a way that it pieces together strips of fabric that end up being so just put that they're, they almost appear like patchwork. And it reminds me of just such an ancient tradition of storytelling through cloth that it pulled me in. So I have this very silly notebook that I um, purchased from Target many years ago. Back when I still stepped foot in Target, but I, I don't even remember how long that would be, maybe four years ago. I bought this notebook and I've started, you know, um, I've started designing quilts in it that I have absolutely begun, started, done some things with. The one you just saw, I'll pull out as I knock other things over. Projects everywhere, honey. We're not one of those, in, um, you know, um, influencers that has a, a wonderfully kempt house. Honey, there's projects everywhere. We've got it everywhere. Things happening everywhere. 
it is what it is. Um, I felt the need to quilt again. I felt it, it came to me because I saw this image and it reminded me of that just need to record something. That need to say something, but I don't know what to say. So let me say what someone else said because I witnessed that. I witness that need. So this one I call Honor to the Ancestors and At the Crossroads. And um, here I have my original sketch, which is pretty rudimentary. And then I did a second sketch to really dig into what my details are. My details are um, that there's a background of some sort. The background's not quite necessary because you understand that it's a window, right? Because we've got the cross. He's, it's the crossroads. He's at the crossroads. So that's why my, it's called honor to the ancestors. He's honoring an ancestor. He's honoring someone who's passed on. He's, he's pouring a little of his own energy out for somebody who's no longer here. But he's also at a crossroads. He's also at a place of, of spiritual connection with what's going on around him. He's also in a way crucified. He was taken, that picture was taken right when he was there, right at that crux. Who knows what repercussions he may eventually face claiming himself in this picture. There's also the idea of the um, you know the African spiritual concepts that come with this. It always seemed to reappear even when we aren't meaning for them to appear. but I don't want to get into that too much because I could go on for a little while. <laughs> and I would really like to just focus on what I was thinking of here because I did go around my house and find the fabric to start this up. So keep in mind, this isn't my medium. I'm not somebody who just draws, but I can usually transfer my ideas onto paper bags of some sort. Ooh, I'm already at eight minutes. Let me speed this up. I'm, uh, I, I can transfer it onto a paper bag in real time. And let's see if I can do that tomorrow. But it's getting a little late. Like I said, it's like almost three in the morning. So let me take my pins in my fabric and pin up on this wall here. Let's see what we can produce. Don't mind this bag of laundry, it's clean. I mean, this this thing of laundry, it's clean. It just was too hot, you know, when it's nice and fresh and warm, you don't want to spread it all over the room, so I kept it in. And then, um, we're gonna just see what we can do right here on this wall to just create the general, because the general is, is there's a man, there's the fire, and we have to have the window behind, that's crossed on top of the fire and here in the back we have these um the lines of whatever the shop is right there's something going on in the shop behind him but it's no matter because i'm not sure if i'm even going to include that part because the main parts to me is the fire him in front of the window and him you know prostrating and him feeling um, that power and reclaiming something for somebody else that they were powerless to reclaim for themselves. But in, here in this moment, he reclaimed it. And here in this moment, I continue the tradition of people looking upon it and finding it. So I have a, yes. <laughs> Let me take a trinket out. I have my pins. Just regular pins. Oh dear. Let me always pick those up. I have children. Okay. Let me move. Well, first, let me show you my fabric. Here we go. 
Here we go. I'm, I've never actually showed anybody how I go through this, but somebody asked on my other channel, Sankofa Ancestor Shrine, so uh, for a patch. So that got me actually thinking on how to do this in general. Sister, should I move you? I think so. Let's put you over here. Um. has been difficult simply to be who I am just to believe that who I am is perfect looking in the mirror here's my chance I wrote a letter to myself And I sent it right away I said I love you More and more each day I wrote a letter to myself And I sent it right away I said I love you more and more each day I looked at my face, my eyes, my smile And that's when I realized it had been here all the while Myself, so strong, tall and proud I looked in my heart And I knew love was fine I wrote a letter to myself And I sent it right said I love you more and more each day. Hey, I wrote a letter to myself and I sent it right away. I said I love you more and more each day.
to see what my life is going to be. To see what my life is going to be. I open my heart to enter and I won't turn back. I will go, I shall go. I will go, I shall go. I will go, I shall go. To see what my life is going to be. To see what my life is going to be. To see what my life is going to be To see what my life is going to be My life is going to be To see what my life is going to be To see what my life is going to be To see what my life To see what my To see what? Show me and to show me and to show me. To see what? Yes. To see what? My life. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? To see what? My life. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be?